What's going on guys? Welcome back to another uh, M19 box opening here. We have a bunch to do, so this is uh, number two of uh, 70. Just kidding, that was that's not real. I don't have 70 boxes to open. I could see you guys being like, 70 boxes? Wow! No, that's total. I just made up a number. Just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. All right, let's let's get to it. I bought a pallet. Yeah, you got it. Again, I'm not going to show off the lands or the commons or the tokens unless they're like cool for some reason. We'll just do uncommons and rares. Uncommons. What do we got here? Druid. I can't. I can't see because the light. Make a stand and a regal bloodlord. Okay. First pick, nice. Not nice, it's a detention tower. I was just kidding. I made that up to get you guys excited for nothing. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you get Hunter in the background. Everybody wins. He's having a good time. We had a guy come over to fix the AC today, and he was like, oh my god, he's so young. Look at that cutie. And I was like, He's like nine years old. Someone was over here yesterday to pick something up, and she's like, oh, he's he's young, isn't he? And I was like, no, he's like nine. Everyone thinks he's so young. He doesn't look it now. Now he looks old half, but anyway. What do we got here? Surge Mare, Brawl Bash Ogre, and an Ajani's Welcome. Welcome, Ajani. Uh, he is a Pointer Greyhound mix, and it opened the graves. Since you're opening boxes, can you open that white box behind you? I'm more interested in what's in that than the M92. Which one? There's a bunch of them. There's like a million different boxes. I got boxes for days. I also have a box of graded comics over here if you guys want me to go through that. That would actually be cool. Uh, Hellion, a Druid of the Horns, and a Regal Bloodlord again. Not super exciting. Ooh, Demanding Dragon. See all these fake oohs I'm giving you guys? This card's apparently great and limited. I mean, obviously it is, right? You yield five, you have a five, five. Okay, so let's say they take five, right? At that point, it's literally just the same as giving it haste, right? And then it's just like a five, five for five with haste. Because you're attacking that turn, essentially, if they take five. So it's on, like, it's just worse than, at that point, it's just worse than Thundermaw, Hel Thunder Hellkite, or... Uh, Stormbreath Dragon. Because those guys also have other abilities. Um, if they don't want to take five, they can just sacrifice a creature, which gives them the option to not take five. It's like if Thundermaw Hellkite had an ability that said your opponent can sacrifice a creature to to remove haste from Thundermaw Hellkite, right? So, like, it's worse than any modern-day dragon. And that's where I stand on that, I think. Stream a towel shelf opening. Uh, then I have to fold them all again, and that just makes me sad. That, one, two, three, four. All right. Nicobolises, come on. Gitu, Aether, Mancer, Man. I don't know. Yeah, Gitu per guide? Gear per guide? Yes. Lightning Mare and a Satyr Enchanter. Okay. What, which, which of these mares are going to see play? Metamorphic Alteration, number two. Almost got a play set of that bad boy. That dragon's just trying to live his best life. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, boy. Another Nicobolus checklist card. But I want to say checklist, but there's no checklist. Nicobolus uh, representation card, we'll say. Um... I wish I had as many Nicobolus representation card Nicobolus's as I do Nicobolus reference checklist cards. I don't though. Got a got a foil in this bad boy. It looks like it's not a Nicobolus. Oh, also I'd know that I got a Nicobolus because it'd be double faced, so I would know immediately. So that's sad. I just realized that all these packs I will know immediately when I didn't open one. Um. 
These are fine. I like all these. Sky scanner. Ooh, look at it. And another sh shigil of the sword of the Valoron. No one cares. Okay. I'm waiting. Submerged Boneyard. And what do you got here? Millstone and either an Aerial Engineer and a Herald of Faith. Herald of Faith, actually super interesting. 4-3 for 5. But whenever it attacks, you gain 2 life. That's not terrible. And a classic Gin of Wishes, which no one needs ever because you just don't. Can I borrow that foil size scanner from my key? I will just give it to you. I'll just have to find a way to see you. Once I see you again, it's yours. If you're being serious, let me know. I predict two packs until bullets. I predict two boxes until... Oh, God. Well, it's not this one, so... That's cool. Well, we do have a foil, though. Maybe it's a foil. It wouldn't be. That wouldn't make sense. So we've got Stitcher's Supplier, a Lightning Strike, and a Bugler again. I will not stop calling this guy a Bugler. I wonder how many people are going to actually play this card and construct it and call it a Bugler. Because they because they grew up in a in an era that has no use for the bugle, so they literally have no idea. Mystic archaeologist, not exciting for a rare, but I like the card. I mean, four mana Asia Mage was a two mana for a two one, and for four mana it's Ryu card, and I actually saw playing some sideboards. F adding one mana to draw two cards is pretty good. And an infernal scarring. <laughs> Look at the dog nesting. <laughs> He's having a good time. Yeah, I always make the bed and then it's like, well, you just, now it's not made anymore. I nab something for you at South by Southwest if we ever see each other again. We'll do oh my God, that sounds amazing. This is why we're BFFs. Just in case you didn't know. You knew. You knew though. What do we got here? I predict 72 bullets in the next box. Oh God, that would be amazing. Uh, a murder, which I like. It is a playable card, I believe. A Gargoyle Sentinel and an Aether Shield Artificer. Okay. I accept all of these. Ooh. Spit Flame, which I said I do like. We went over this in the last video. And Stitcher Supplier. Foil. Which is nice because it does see play. It's a bag of poop. He got you a bag of South by Southwest poop. Well, that is unfortunate. I expected better, but, you know, what can you do? A Johnny emblem. For the, for when we open in a Johnny. That's cool. Instead, we're getting bugglers. Ghost, Gaspark Twins, uh, Hiromancer's Cage, and a Rogue's Gloves. Gloverinos. And a Remorseful Cleric. If I don't get a, at least three Nicol Bolas in these boxes... I'm literally never buying boxes again. That's my that's my that's my stance here. I bought a case because I was like, in pr in past experience when I bought like I bought a case of Re Return to Ravnica, um, I bought a case of like Gate Crash, and I did this with the intent of getting play sets right. And a lot of times I would get about three of every rare, at, three of every mythic at least. So I had play sets of a, a lot of cards, and then close to play sets of some of some cards. So. It's worked in the past, but I wonder if something has changed since then. Oh, got another foil. Could be good. So, we'll see. Vine Mare, draw three, and a Horizon Scully. Horizon Scully and Mulder. And Trash Master again. All right, so we're getting, we're getting our Goblin Lord on. Eh, foil Detection Tower. It is rare. I'm okay with it. I accept. Well, the sets got worse, but that doesn't change the rare distribution that would prevent me from getting play sets. Will there be planeswalkers in this uh, in this M nineteen core set box opening? Dan, uh, hello. Eventually, there's going to be uh, planes uh, plane, planeswalkers on this on this box opening, and then John Hammond's all. 
Oh, I really do hate that man. It's a good movie. It might be one of my favorite movies. Because the dinosaur is bra. Got a sp- declare dominance, a shield mare, and a reassembling skeleton. Uh, you get four bra. So the thing about buy box promos is I don't know if a lot of you guys might not know this, but it, they are one per person. So if you buy two or three boxes, you should, you should tech, officially speaking, only get one buy a box promo. Uh, so if you buy six boxes, you don't get six promos. Otherwise, you could just be like, I'll take three cases and get 18 promos. That would just be kind of ridiculous. Um, and it would leave very little for other other paying customers. Um, I was able to get four because some stores do play sets. So I do get a play set of the Nexus of Fate, which is really sweet. Uh, one, two, three, four. What do we got here? Brawl Bash, a Volley Veteran, and a Novice Knight. Wow, so we got Brawl Bash, Volley Veteran, Novice Knight. That is the most alliteration I've ever seen on three consecutive Magic cards. This is straight out of 1960s Marvel, man. Well, I got Peter Parker, Bruce Banner, and Doctor Doom. Okay, well, that's cool. And Alina, Selfless Champion. I don't think we've gotten a single Mythic yet in this box. We have not. Zero Mythics. So not... Not not ideal, but, you know, there's time. I had time now. N and K don't alliterate? They totally alliterate. Well, okay, K doesn't alliterate, but Novice Knight is still alliteration. Reassembling Skeleton, a Sift, and uh, Blood Divination. Also, correcting me on, on that being alliteration is super, super butt actually -ing. Oh, look. Well, another escape shift. I mean, as far as mythics go, like, if I'm not going to get something new that I'm going to play with, I'll just, that'll be fine, I guess. I could also sell my op my original escape shifts and just use these. Oh, I forgot Apex of Power was was mythic. Oh, gross. Watch, this is going to be Apex of Power because I said something. Gift of Paradise being uncommon is really weird. Mirror Image and Rupture Spire. Okay. Infernal Reckoning. Okay. Yeah, in terms of alliteration, I don't know if you guys knew this, but a four-year a four-year college gave me a degree in English. So I'm not saying I'm a master, but I do know some things. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, nailed it! Oh wait, this is the this is the checklist card again. Boy, Magic really thinks you're going to open way more Nicobolises than you actually do. They're giving us way too much credit here. Hey, for all these Nicobolises you open. I think we have a playset, though. That's pretty cool. Colossal Majesty, Uncommon, uh, Urza's Tome. <laughs> and Satyr Enchanter. Okay, okay. Another Runic Armasaur. A runic Fred Armisen. Hey, that's the Portlandia guy. I do actually have a checklist playset. So, theoretically, I could just open one Nicol Bolas, use the four checklist cards, and then just play that one Nicol Bolas whenever I draw it. Please don't do that. That is illegal. You have to have an equal number of checklist cards to the number of actual cards you own. Don't go to an event and say, I saw in Frank's video that I could play four checklist cards and only own one copy of the card. Please don't do that. I will point them to the video and be like, I totally didn't say that. Spoiler alert. Got a bookcase, got a surge mare, and I got a floaty boy. Got a green, blue green floaty boy. Okay, I accept. And a Psy, Thopterist Master Thopterist. The name is Psy. Where are you going? You got somewhere to be? All right. You do your thing. You do your dog. You live your dog life. 
He's living his best dog life, so what can he do? Any foil mythics? <laughs> Stop. Uh, Aegis of Honor? Of the Heavens, I don't know. Uh, Psychic Symbiont and a Siege Breaker Giant. I guess the Heavens is just like the worst card I've ever seen. I guess they're trying to like Palladium Wars that thing. Oh, another Amulet of Safekeeping. Okay. Guys, I think they forgot the Mythics in this box. I keep waiting to see the backside of a Nicol Bolas, and guess what happens? I never do. Also, saying I keep waiting to see the backside of a Nicol Bolas is probably not the most appropriate thing. Let me see that backside, Nicol Bolas. All right, we got Gargoyle, Sentinel, Knightly Valor, and uh, let me see. I can, actually, let me do something crazy. Are you guys ready for this? Hold on. Okay, it actually just gets worse. Never mind. <laughs> Didn't work at all. All right. Well, anyway, I was trying to I was trying to fix the focusing so it's just a little bit. Oh, Foil Forest. Nobody cares about that. And a Death Baron, which is not terrible as, as far as rares go. That guy's probably like $50 or something because of Commander. Thanks thanks a lot, Commander Weirdos. All the Commander players just unsubbed. Mm, nope, nope. One, two, three, four. Uh, nope. Uh, Diamond Mare, Vigilant Bailout, and another Sift. Sift being uncommon. There's a lot of cards that are uncommon that I'm like, why are you uncommon? I don't really understand. And a Johnny's Last Stand. Not ideal. Nope, no, you could talk, God, the, the suspense is so bad where you're like, oh, no Nicol Bolas, that sucks. Oh well. It's okay guys, it's our Karn. It's our Karn. Boop, boop, boop. I also want Teferi, I want, not Teferi, I want Tezzeret and Sarkons as well, just to play. So I got the Spectre, got the Harpy, and a Gaspark Twins. And a Thorn Lieutenant. Mm. Alright, it's time to take the actual packs out of the box. We still got a good amount left, so I'm not feeling terrible about it, but... I would like to make these easier to to get to. All right. I'm on pre-release. I got a promo, a Johnny, and the first five packs. I got a second. That's pretty good. Yeah, hunting the colorless planeswalker. Only this time, it's got three colors. Oh, another another foil, which is nice. That's nice. Grave digger, fountain of renewal, and a fiery finish. Not exciting. Not exciting at all. Oh, all right. All right, not bad. Got an Alpine Moon and then a Foil uh, Gore Claw. That's pretty sweet. I'm okay with that. Yeah, Sarkon. Sarkon's Unsealing and Palaka Worm are pretty good. Unfortunately, Sarkon can't uh, ramp you to your own Palaka Worm, but still only one Mythic so far, I think. It was Scape Shift, right? Good lord. Are all the mythics just hiding in the same spot? Two, three, four. Yep. All right. Rise, fire finish, and a plague mare. Plague mare is actually pretty good. Giving all neg, neg one, neg one to all the dudes is not terrible. And it can't be blocked by white creatures. Cleansing Nova. Okay. No, no Nicol Bolas, guys. I'm going to tell you immediately. Or what if I slow roll it and be like, Oh, I didn't tell you, but it's still here. We got a foil. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Got a Rise, Poison Tip Archer, and another Johnny's Pride Mate. Modern staple. What is this guy? Hydra? Hungering Hydra? 
Uh, can't be blocked by more than one creature. It enters the battlefield with X plus and plus one counters, so it's X green. And whenever it's dealt damage, put that many counters on it. It must survive the damage to get the counters. Okay, well, whatever you say. And the Onaki Ogre. More like the Onanaki Ogre from a uh, little ancient alien reference there. One, two, three, four. Yep, all right. Dragon Rook. No, Dragon Egg. Dragon, I was thinking Rook Egg and Dragon Egg, and I combined them to Dragon Rook. Uh, Vampire Sovereign and an Enigma Drake. Bunch of floaty boys. And a Phylactery Lich. Plague, Man, Plague Mare is a poor man's chain whirler. That's pretty hilarious. Oh boy, did I make an ancient... I love Ancient Aliens, dude. That is one of my favorite shows. Say what you will, but... For my money, it doesn't get any better than George Sukalos. To Exodus, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Even though you never left. You were there all along. Oh, okay, look at this. It's not bad. Got a Stitcher Supplier, a Lightning Strike, and an Inferno Hellion. And a Frang Omnipotence. Dude, if this box has one Mythic in it, I would like... I'd probably send it back to Wizards and be like, Hey... I just opened this box on stream and had one mythic, and I'm really sad about my life choices. And I'm sad about your life choices too, wizards. So, let's figure this out together. Got a sleep, a psychic corrosion, and a rogue's gloves. Sleep is an OP card. Oh! Vevictus Asmati. The Dyer. Okay, well, that's two mythics. Not a planeswalker, keep in mind. We opened two 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 elder dragons, no planeswalkers. So, you know, we got that going for us. Oh, another foil though. Rich get richer. I'm sad about it. Me too, buddy. Me too. Switcheroo, a Draconic Druid, and a Aether Tunnel. D actually, Draconic, Draconic Disciple, not Druid. He's not a Druid. He's actually a human shaman. I don't want to get shamans and Druids confused because that feels bad. Uh, Aether Shield Artificer Foil. Oh, how nice. Little, little, little treat. And then a Supreme Phantom. Supreme Phantom. A 1-3. I feel like the Supreme Phantom would probably be bigger than a 1-3, but what do I know? I don't know, Phantom. Phantoms. Towel unrolling video next. What's the point of that other than to just ruin my my beautiful towel presentation? <laughs> Four. No uncommon. Okay. What do we got here? Bookcase, a Valley Veteran, Volley Veteran, and a Siege Breaker Giant. What is this guy? Deal damage equal to the number of goblins you control? Target creature. So it deals one automatically, and if you have another goblin, it deals more than one. Gore Claw, number three, I believe. Almost got the play set of that bad boy. Do you ever play did you ever play Slay the Spire? I think you would have a great maybe, um I have it. I don't I have not played it yet though. Nailed it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. How cute. Hey. Hey, I'm in the pack. Okay. Well, you showed me, didn't you? Nothing else matters. All right. What do we got here? Gutter Snipe, a uh, Deckhand, and a Thirst. All right. All right. Okay. I think that's still... Is that three? That's three mythics, right? Two two dragons and a uh, escape shift. All right. Not, it's not too bad.
Got an ox. One, two, three, four. Yep. Rupture Spire, I can see, and a uh, mirror image, and a, and a bugler again. And a Leonin War Leader. Stop calling it a bugler! Never. You'll never get me to stop. What are the odds there be two Nicoboluses like right next to each other in the same same area? Pretty low, right? Re Reliquary Tower, Aerial Engineer, and a Diagraph Ghoul. One Nickel Buckless. <laughs> You know what? That's actually better than opening the nickel bucklist himself. That is fantastic. I'm going to lower the volume too because that was real loud. Boom, 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 Volcanic Dragon, a double cast, and a reliquary tower. Okay. Okay. Reliquary Tower is one of them. Chaos Wand, number dose. And a Mighty Leap Foil. Wow, look at it shine. Just call him a burglar. Yeah, there we go. Rubble, rubble. I'll just call him the ham burglar. Oh, a Tezzeret emblem. Can it be foreshadowing? Let's find out. We got here. Uh, Fountain, Erex Sage, and a Dryad, a Green Seeker. These are actually very good. All three of these are good. The Fountain of Renewal is actually uh, seeing some play in the Blueback Artifact deck because it's just a one mana artifact that gains you a life every turn. Uh, Rex Sage is obviously great, and Dryad is a card I'm really curious about in Standard. Close. It has Tezzeret on the card, but it's just a one with the machines, which is less exciting, admittedly. We have three packs left, and we only have three mythics so far, so boy, please be at least one mythic in these packs. Three mythic boxes is not okay. Ooh! Blanchwood armor. Blanchwood armor being in the set is really interesting because it's just such an old school, like, plus X plus X card. Hyro. Hyromancer's Cage with a printing error on it. Looks like a drop of water hit it. And an exclusion mage. Okay. Let's see if we can see that. Look at that sweet drop on that Hyromancer's Cage. And that's not on the card. Like, I can't rub that off. It's actually in the actual card. It's really kind of interesting. I'm going to put that aside. Oh. Resplendent Angel. We found Mythic number four. That's pretty cool. Alright, one more. One Planeswalker. Don't do me like this, Magic the Gathering. No Planeswalkers in two boxes is all is, is, is bad feels, but we did get Nicol Bolas. We should kind of like Planeswalker. Armor, Gravedigger, and Exclusion Mage. Okay, okay. Ask and ye shall receive. This box was good. Liliana. Liliana. This box was much better than the last one. And we'll show you why. Let's take out all the... Uh, this is a five mythic box. And a death baron. I don't know what death baron goes for, but... Not bad. Not bad. No Sarkons or Tezzerets yet, but... One step closer to our nickel bolus goal. Our nickel nickel bead nickel bee goals. Oh, and I also have one pack left, so I, I guess we're not done yet. I guess I'm My favorite thing about new sets is because I don't care about uh about which version I have. 
So I like selling the old versions of cards. Like I'll sell like the $20 scape shift and keep the $12 scape shift. So that's something, that's just a, a good way to be, be resourceful with your magic cards. A Johnny's Welcome Recollect and a Molten Giant. I actually, Molten Golem, I like Molten Golem a lot. I don't think it's playable, but seven mana is a million. And Elvish Clan Caller, okay. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I definitely don't think Liliana is the worst Planeswalker from the set, no. Um, maybe, but I think she's still very, very good. Like in a zombie deck, like, she's just good. She's just a good card. Don't be a hater. Nobody likes haters. All right, now I'm going to put both these boxes on the floor. All right, so not bad. Not bad for box number two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great. And uh, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons down below if you enjoy the content. My, my Twitch page and my Patreon page are also both linked in the description if you want to support me there. And I will uh, see you guys next time. So be sure to check it out if you want to see more box openings because I do have a couple more to go.